Hi there. What I'm going to go through now is just how you can check your mobility and how you can do an action to feel the quality of that mobility. So we're going to start with the neck. For this one, I want you to have your feet shoulder width apart, pop the hands just onto your side of your legs or slightly onto your buttocks and have a small squeeze of the shoulder blades, not an aggressive one, just a small one, so you can keep those shoulders still. So for this mobility, can you turn the chin over the end of the collarbone or towards the shoulder on both sides. Good. So that's how far you should go. You should be able to get the chin to the end of the collarbone. Now you're going to check the quality. So this is the mobility aspect. Can you turn the chin comfortably from side to side? And this is how you check the mobility of your rotation of your neck. Now, if one of or both of those movements are uh, either tender, then you stop doing it. Uh, but make sure you let me know what you find when I see you at your next appointment. Right, let's keep going with the neck. So the next movement is, can you tuck that shin down to the chest? Or can you, do you just get to there? Can you next, can you go up and get that chin as high as you possibly can? So that's another mobility. We don't really check that one with movements, we just see what you can do. Right, let's move on to the shoulders. So for the shoulders, I'm gonna turn around. You're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart, one hand um, out at a time, and you're gonna reach over and try and touch the top of the shoulder blade on the opposite side. Go back to neutral, and then come underneath, and can you touch the shoulder blade on the opposite side? Good, okay, and then we'll do both sides. Start at neutral, reach over, touch the top of the shoulder blade on the, on the opposite side, reach under, touch underneath the shoulder blade on the opposite side. Now from there, you would have seen that I was a little tighter on my right side. Now let's check the mobility. Feet shoulder width apart, and what you're going to do is you're going to do both arms at once. So you're going to go under and over. How comfortable is it for you to do that? And is one side tighter than the other. Okay, moving right along, we're gonna move on to spinal twists. So for this one, you're gonna have your hands across your chest. I'm gonna turn, you're gonna have your feet together and keeping yourself as upright as you possibly can, can you rotate those shoulders and look behind you? Can you rotate the other side and look behind you? So to the movement for this one, is you're going to have the hands here, feet shoulder width apart, and you're going to rotate both sides. What's the quality like? Do you feel like you can rotate to both sides? Right, we're still going to stay with the spine. We're now going to do a forward bend. So from side on, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. You are going to just crack the knees a little bit, and can you push those hands down the front of your legs and touch your toes without bending your knees any more than the first original. Good. Okay. And then you're going to check how far you can back bend. You're going to place those hands onto the small around the belt line without pushing the knees forward. You're going to keep those knees straight and you're going to see if you can bend over those hands. And that's checking the spine's ability to do a forward bend and a back bend. Okay, now what we're gonna check is we're gonna check ankles, knees, and hips, and a little bit of a lower back, and your ability to do a squat. Now remember we're doing mobility, so don't hold this pose, that's for strength, which we're gonna do next month. This is just how far can you get down, and how easy is your movement. Now the squat's really important. It's a fantastic exercise to test all four of those joints, but it's very poor at telling us which joint is tight and not functioning well. So any one of them could be stopping you from getting as low as you wish to go. So to do a squat, just to have um, a bit more ease with your balance, have your hands out and just get those legs down as far as you, that bottom down as far as you can. And so your goal here is can you get parallel or can you get underneath the parallel? And that's your movement of checking ankles, knees, and hips, primarily with a little bit of lower back. So the movement that you do to practice this is you use a chair. You sit at the end of the chair, you have the hands up, and you go, how easy is it 
for me to get down to a chair height. And that's the quality of the movement we're looking at. We're not looking to do big reps or anything like that. That's more of a strength exercise. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is a, a, a cross-legged um, sit on the ground. So what we do is we're going to pop onto the ground and our goal is to tuck our ankles underneath our knees and can we have our knees resting on our ankles? That's what we're trying to achieve. You do one side and then you do the other side is one side much easier than the other and this is really checking the hips can you rotate those hips we're just about there we've just got one more and this is for the ankles so you sit in the chair you put one leg over the other and you do as bigger circles as you can with your toes you go one way and then you go the other okay so then you swap them over one way so i'm a bit tight in this ankle through soccer injuries and i'm a bit more of a d on this side than a circle and we go the other way but i'm not too bad going the other way okie dokie so do you have those ranges of movement and if you do that's great if you struggled with any of those let me know and that's this month's email so i look forward to seeing you soon bye bye